We wanted to inspire and to encourage people to go out and to live their own dreams. There weren't a lot of youthful, fresh, energetic films and productions out there that were reflective of that movement and that youth culture. It's been a really cool experiment, thus the name Teton Gravity Research. <laughs> In the early 90s, my brother Steve moved out here to take a year off from college, and I visited him while he was out here doing that. I immediately called home and was like, hey, I'm gonna do this take a year off from college thing, and that was 22 years ago. At about that same time, snowboarding was really taking off. I think we saw films that were being over-directed and not being shot in a documentary style. And that's really what we've always been as a documentary film company. We'd get people up on top of these really aesthetic lines and just give them the three, two, one count and they'd ski those things top to bottom. The original founders were myself, my brother Steve, Corey Gavin, and Dirk Collins. That was a really magical time and we just, you know, we were all hanging out, riding, and filming in front of other people's cameras, and commercial fishing, and heli guiding, and we finally just said, screw it, let's do our own thing. We had a bunch of young, aggressive, really athletic camera and production crew that were also athletes. So we were able to get equipment into really remote locations. All of a sudden we had cameras in these pretty far out there, pristine locations that other cameras hadn't been to before. That's the way Our film background came from being in films and having been around cameras. And we kind of figured out that we knew where to go, we knew what made the good angles, we knew how to go out there safely. So we're like, okay, we got everything figured out except the camera part. So we bought a camera and some rolls of film and just like made a bunch of mistakes. We loaded film backwards a few different times. <laughs> We'd get the film back and it was negative red. And Shot soft focus stuff. It's not like digital where you can just burn and burn and burn. We learned the hard way, but it was, you know, all just kind of school of hard knock. That was probably pretty good. The exploratory factor for us is huge. We like to be doing stuff that's never been done. We like to be going to places that haven't been ridden, haven't been explored. There's just been this desire to adventure and to see things that have never existed before. One particular day where we went over to the backside of Grand Targhee, just had this massive cliff hucking session, jumping huge airs, and that was during the making of our first film, The Continuum. That was the magic day when we knew, like, okay, we're on to something, we got it, we've finally done it ourselves. When I think about the road that it's been to really get here, there have been so many challenges, times when we thought we were done. We weren't gonna be able to open the doors at TGR again. Partners are everything for what we do. That environmental as well as that adventure component in Subi is really part of their DNA. They're not faking it. It's gonna be an adventure in front of the lens and behind the lens. Risk management is a massive part of what we do. We do a lot of training live in the field while we're on location. We do an annual safety seminar, which is first aid, high angle rescue, and avalanche and snow science. And we bring in all our filmers, all our athletes, anyone who might be in the field goes in and we do an intense four day course where we just grind through all of these scenarios. The decision making process to back out is 
is actually very collaborative. It's never like myself or Todd. There's a lot of respect between guide, athlete, cinematographer, production team, and, and those decisions are pretty collective. You have to be able to walk away. I have a weird, sinister pleasure fixation sometimes walking away from a bunch of money because something seems dangerous. Those years, you look back at them now, 20 years later, they were hard. You know, we didn't have a lot of money. We were learning things, but they also were like the best times ever. You know, they're so pure and so rootsy. Everything was new and fresh. I think it's really just to continue to expand our reach, continue to up the level of quality of product. Just having a, a larger voice to be able to go out and you know affect change and inspire people and and keep doing what what we do i did not stay i came up